Here is the normal contouring of a turn finish toolpath. Notice these areas where the insert cannot reach. This will take multiple tool configurations to contour this. I will enable the B-axis contouring option by editing the turn finish operation, clicking on the turn finish tab and enabling the B-axis contouring. There are two types of machining. With constant angle, the tool will maintain the initial angles wherever it can and it will rotate only when it needs to reach into a material or to avoid collisions. With add an angle to the feature curve, the tool will be relative to the feature segment in its machining. The tool normal can be to the feature geometry or it can have a lead or lag angles. Let's use constant angle type. See how the tool maintains the constant angle but will rotate and move at an angle to clean up the material? Let's try add an angle to feature curve method and step through the tool path. The lead and lag angle of the insert is controlled by the normal setting. Changing the limits can allow the tool to machine in more areas. The holder clearance will further tilt the tool to avoid any collisions with the holder. When negotiating corners, there is an option to set a distance at which the tool should start rotating to get the resulting angle. This distance is applied to the curves on both sides of the corner.